All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and a, either a short or a full video, it depends. So I was just doing a few little things for an overlay and trying to just start an endless run, get it to about level 100 so I can do a video on it later on. And we hatched a shiny Aplin, which is modest with full attack IVs and a good special attack IV. So we are just kind of carrying on the video here. This will probably be the short bit. And then we will look at um, carrying on the video after this. But means we can get a... It's not a high dragon. It's a... Is it a high dragon? Hold on. I don't know the new evolution of Aplin from Gen 9. So let's just go to Prodex and see what it is. High Drapple. That's the one. Has high defense, high special attack. So Modest is massive for that. Um, so we might actually change the run here, but we'll see. We'll just carry it on for now and see what happens. Like I said, this is a very early start to a run. I don't like doing the early starts because it just kind of... It's not the greatest. Um, I'm going to Metal Claw, which should do some damage. Didn't do a lot of damage, actually. Um, okay. So let's Dragon Breath and then Metal Claw and try and get some kills. As you can see, I did actually hatch a Maridon, which is huge. Um, this was the other day. Um, I think I am making a short of it soon, so definitely keep an eye out for that. If it isn't already out by the time this video goes up. Um, but, yes. We also did just catch a Poltergeist too, which is also a new mon from Gen 9. Um, where is it on here? Um, it's kind of like the cup from uh, the Gen Gala, so I'll show you that in a second. Let's just heal it up. We are nearly at the end of this run anyway, uh, at the end of this level. So, this is what we got. Sorry that my overlay is currently covering over the image, but it's hospitality showers it. When the Pokemon ends about it showers its ally with hospitality, restores a small amount of HP. That's actually really good, especially on these ones when you sometimes don't have enough money to buy some potions. That will come in handy. Um, it's speed up defense down, which isn't too bad, and it has not very good moves, but I have got the moves to open. And you get Mega Drain, Hex, Foul Play, Life Dew, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball. So it is, it has got a good move set, so we are going to carry it on. Uh, Dragon Breath, the Sand Shrew, and then Metal Claw, the Scroopy. We could actually get killed by the Scroopy. Um, Dragon Breath, the Scroopy, Metal Claw, the Sand Shrew. And it's already nearly dead anyway. But yeah, this wasn't supposed to be a video. It was just supposed to be a try and get the overlay sorted, things like that. So that is why currently the Pokemon don't actually match up to like the overlay because it was just going to be a quick little um, play. But I can also do that now actually, so give me two seconds and we will add the new Pokemon to the overlay. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, as you can see there, our overlay is now up to date, so we can carry on with this. Uh, let's Dragon Breath. Ooh, that did a lot actually. Might have to keep an eye on that. But we do have two XP alls already. We did get one on our second level, to be honest. Which is actually huge. Um, not only does it give us more EXP on our party, which is really good. Our Maridon also has Recover. So we don't actually need to be using the potions that we have getting. I'm hoping to get some Rare Candy soon. Um, but we also could have gone in this with a full set of Shinies. That also would have been a good way to do so. With the electric terrain, Maridans are actually so good. And, ooh, we got a Butterfree, finally. Now, the good thing and the reason I bought Butterfree is because we can get a Gigantamax Butterfree, which would be insane. I've not had a Gigantamax, even though I've had the band. So, let's carry on with this. Charge, no thank you. Right. This is where we need to keep an eye, right? Because not only... Are we going to be catching all the 
Uh, Tinker Links we can. Because we need that huge power. So, oh, we actually got 21 plus on attack. That's huge with Adamant. That could be a restart. Getting that this early on is massive. We get more HP, more attack, more speed. We've got Adamant. We do have own tempo already. Um, I'm actually tempted to get rid of mine. So this isn't exactly great. Uh, has it pretend, prevents it from becoming confused. It doesn't really help much. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to change it out. Uh, take the rare candy, give it my ride on. Um, oh, another one. See, this is exactly why we do this. Um, one, we get a really good mon. We get some candies. That's the whole reason I'm doing some endless runs, just because I do want to get some candies to get huge power. Because Tinkerling with huge power is really good. Um, so let's go to Nidoran and then we can Gust again. The reason I've done that is obviously I don't want to kill. So with these two we can just whittle the Mon down. Throw a Great Ball. Nice. We got even more attack on that one with Naughty Nature and Own Tempo. Um, more special defense so our IVs are going up. We're not going to uh, change it out for there but we do need 30 candies to get um, our tinkling with huge power so as many as we can get here would be nice um, unknown nice easy kill um, hoping to get even more of these tinkling soon I think we've moved biomes now which isn't good probably shouldn't see any more tinklings which is a pain but I'm hoping to get the map soon with the map, we should be able to choose where we want to go in caves is where basically the best place to find them is. Ooh, causes a certain Pokemon to evolve. So we can evolve our Poltergeist already. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do it. So I've not seen the evolution yet. So, okay, it's sinister. Once the match you got you, what does that do? Use the fire the blast of tea that is mixed. The user HP is restored by up to half. And maybe you, that's really good. Um, okay, so give me two seconds and I'll change the layout. All right, guys, and we are back. And as you can see, our layout has been changed. So we do have our new mon on the team. Um, does does that do everything? Didn't attack us, that's good. Um, we've got life due as well. We've actually got a really good team. That is actually a really good one to find this early on. Especially if it heals itself. Um, do, do wish we would have seen more tinklings. Two's okay. I would have. I want to try and get to 30 candy before we even leave this place. Um, before we leave this endless run. Or I will just have to keep restarting and getting more. A soothe bell. Friendship gained per victory by 50%. Now, if you haven't already seen the friendship um, mechanic that they've added, I've just messed up there. Um, basically, you can earn candies with uh, friendship. So the more friendship you have, you can gain more candies for your mon. That's why I added it to Tinkerlink. Hopefully, every couple of times we can get a candy and then even better, then we can swap it out to something else to say Maridon, things like that, and get even more. So, Zubat, once again, very easy kill. Shockwave, it doesn't miss. So, we have got a really good moveset already. Another XP all. Ooh, a boss Snorlax. Now, you will be worth catching. Never mind, we killed it. Don't see how we killed it, but it's fine. Parabolic charge. You attach around it, use everything around it, use the HP to swap by half the damage taken. We're taking that. There's no point with electric terrain, because when we swap in, we do get that already, so there's no need. We do need a moonstone now for Needle King, though. That's our ground type that we needed, obviously. We could have gone with Excadrill, but I feel like we are okay with the team we've got currently. 
But hopefully you guys are enjoying the layout change. Obviously, I am covering over some of the HP. So I do apologize for that. But we just it's just nice to have the team there, know what we've got in the background. If you do join the video late or anything like that, you can look and see what Pokemon we do have. Um, so we will carry on with that. Um, power ballot charge and then... Oh, we actually killed our own one. I didn't think we'd kill. I thought as it's grass, it wouldn't do that much damage. But we killed everything. Okay. Maybe that was a bad move. Um, I am going to revive because we need as much um, EXP as possible. So Now, is Ash Greninja in the game? If it is, that would be ace to have a Greninja. Unless it would be put down as a, a Megastone. As they have added a few new evolution items, things like that. So, um, let's see. Rare Candy, always great. We could have done that on Magikarp actually and got it near enough for Gyarados. But, we don't need to do that. Maridon will carry through quite a lot of this until Tinker Tink is ready to basically take on every dragon going. Um, on Endless, you do get um, every 250 levels, you will encounter Eternatus. So, that is something we need Tinker Link for. To be, obviously, a great member of the team. Let's get a Gyarados, me as well. Gyarados is a main part of my team, obviously, because it's full IVs. It will be on most of my teams. I, I do apologize for that. Obviously, I should really change up my teams a little. But sometimes it's just nice to have a guaranteed good mon on the team and then you can look at other things around it. So like we can take Maraid on different legendaries. I'm tempted to do a run with some pseudo legendaries. So I have got Larvitar, Beldum. I haven't got Dratini yet, but I do want to get one. Um, ooh. Never mind we killed it. Maraidon is really good. Um, I'm quite happy I hatched it. Um, but I would like to try and get some other legendaries as well. Hopefully some Paradox Mons. Paradox Mons would be cool. Um, dark type moves. Tinker Tink. May seem weird, but it does get knockoff, which is huge on this game. Because the more damage... Like... Oh, it's also getting Brutal Swing, which is nice. Um, the more damage we do... Uh, sorry. God, that's really annoying. Sorry, let's ignore this. Um, when you have knockoff, the more items they have, the more damage you do. So when you come up against like Eternatus and things like that, you'll do so much damage the more items they have. So that is really good. So sorry about that mess up there. Um, oh, a Frillish. I would like to go back to the cave, get more Tinker Tinks, things like that. So Shockwave is 60, that's 80. Um, I've already got Parabolic Charge, so I'm not going to take this charge. We need a Mon that will obviously attack everything around it, plus a move that will only attack one, because as you saw earlier, we did call our own teammate. Um, so that is not going to happen again. Air Slash for Tackle. So we are level 42. I'm going to stop at 50. I'm going to stop the video at 50 anyway, and then I will carry on this run. Um, as a non-video run or I will add it as a um, short to catch up that kind of thing so definitely keep an eye out for this in the future um, I'll probably bring it back when I'm level like I said level 100 some, somewhere around there um, and see how we are doing obviously we do have some good ones so hopefully we can get as far as we can I do want to do a few endless runs i want to do a spliced endless run i've not done one of them yet so that might be interesting Ooh, skittus that'd be good for butter free but you can't learn it so no need Ooh, a probe pass you can get hit by electric okay and um, let's carry on going slam no if we had a silk scarf i'd probably take it but we don't at the minute some great balls. 
Once again, you can get hit by electric, so let's keep going. Yeah, Maraidon is dumb. I think the best mod that I've seen, I have watched a few videos, seen Game Boy Luke start it, United Hayes. Um, the original reason I got into this was from original 151 Subathon. Um, if you haven't heard of them, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, definitely go and check them out. They are really good Pokemon um, content creators. I watch them all the time, um, get some ideas for dual battles, things like that. Um, but, um, they're the ones that basically got me into this all. Original 151 did, and there's our Nido King, that's what we wanted. That's nice, we can get Earthquake and things now, or Earth Power, whatever we want. Does learn Mega Horn now, which I will take. Um, ooh, we can't catch this though, can we? Okay, let's do Power Ballot Charge and heal up a little bit. Oh, we did actually die. Okay. Waterfall should kill. Yep. It's a shame you can't catch these. You should be able to catch them sometimes. Like, they should appear outside of the something protecting it. But I can understand why they are really powerful mons to have on a team. Same as, you know what? Persian is very slept on. Obviously, you can get Fake Out, you can have Technician, you can give it Silt Scarf like it had. I should have actually gone to um, Tinker Tink there because we could have coveted that Silt Scarf off. And Cover is an amazing move to have to get as many items as you can. Obviously, you get more EXP, you get more attack, things like that. So, we'll take that. Buzz Buzz instead of Gust. Um, I'm actually going to leave it here because I did say 50 and we've gone above that. Uh, let's kill this last thing and then we will move on. I don't know if I can take that item, but we may as well keep trying. Nice. So let's see what items we can get from this. Obviously we're gaining quite a lot of EXP at the minute. Nothing there, so I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment if you are enjoying the series. Um, and also let me know if you did get any shinies from Poke Rogue. It is a really good game. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.